So you're thinking about moving to Glen Allen, Virginia. Today we're going to take a look around a few neighborhoods. As always, we're going to see three neighborhoods at three different prices so you can figure out what fits best into your budget. And if you stay around to the end of the video, I'll let you know one of the best kept secrets about Glen Allen, Virginia, and we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time at a channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Richmond, Virginia and the surrounding counties of Hanover, Henrico, Chesterfield, New Kent, Goochland, and Powhatan, then subscribe below and tap the notifications bell so you can be the first to know about the market in Richmond, Virginia. My name's Scott Dernley with Joiner Fine Properties. My team and I get calls from people like you looking to make a move to Richmond, Virginia, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, all in the description below, and we'll help you make a smooth move to Richmond, Virginia. So today's tour is Glen Allen. We are starting out this tour of Glen Allen in front of the historic Forest Lodge, or, or actually what's left of the Forest Lodge. Uh, this is the remains of what was a luxury hotel built in uh, right around 1880. It was uh, Glen Allen's first and uh, probably only luxury resort. Um, but uh, this, is, uh, this is all that remains of it. And uh, again, a little bit of info about Glen Allen. Glen Allen is a suburb of Richmond, Virginia. It, it kind of butts up the short pump, but we're a little bit north uh, and a little bit west of Richmond. Uh, there's a train track right behind me. You might hear the uh, train whistle blowing right now. But uh, we've got a population in uh, Glen Allen of right around 17,000 folks in our median household income. We're checking in right at about $79,000 for your median household income. So that's a little bit of uh, overall early info on Glen Allen. Let's hop in the car and let's go take a look at some houses. All right, we are here in front of our first stop on our tour of homes in Glen Allen. This home is checking in right at $440,000. It's 2,200 square feet, so we're looking at right about $200 per foot. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It was built in 1998, and we've got about a 0.4 acre lot, which is, you know, for this area, is pretty, pretty decent size, maybe a little above average. Um, nice updates to this house. We've got things like hardwood floors, crown molding, uh, granite in the kitchen, uh, updated stainless steel appliances. Um, as you can see, there's a two car garage. So, uh, you know, very nice house here in a nice area of Glen Allen, which we've said is a growing suburb of Richmond. And, um, you know, we are going to have a few more options in this kind of three to four hundred dollar three to four hundred thousand dollar price range in Glen Allen, you know, more so than short pump. So great house. As always, we're going to take a spin around the neighborhood so you can see that one and then we'll be off to our second stop. All right, we are coming up to our second stop on our tour of Glen Allen Homes. Uh, one thing that I think is kind of neat about Glen Allen, it does have a little more of a country feel. If you go out west on things like Hungry Road, on Mountain Road, you are going to see really cool things like the Glen Allen Cultural Arts Center. You'll see the Walkerton Tavern 
really neat old building. You'll see the Virginia Cliff Inn, which is a bed and breakfast, gorgeous building. You'll find things like a little local supermarket, like the Glen Allen Supermarket. Um, so it's just got that really neat feel if you hit certain parts of Glen Allen that feel just like a little more, a little more country, but you're still close to absolutely everything. All right, so now we're in front of our second stop. This home is checking in at $530,000. It's a little over 2,400 square feet. So it comes out to right at about $217 a foot. Um, built in 1996, we've got four bedrooms, two and a half baths. And now we are on a little bit smaller lot right at a quarter acre. So uh, this house has some nice updates. We've got hardwood floors. Uh, we've got stainless appliances, granite tops. Uh, this house recently had the HVAC redone just this year. Um, and it's uh, got a newer roof. So there's some nice updates, which are things you need to really be looking for when you're buying a home that was built you know, in the 90s. Have the homeowner done any updates? And in this case, they have. Uh, so nice house here behind me. And uh, as always, we're gonna take a little loop around the neighborhood check that out and then we'll be off to our third stop all right we are coming up to our third stop in our Glen Allen neighborhood tour this home is in Twin Hickory Twin Hickory is a big master plan subdivision. So it's gonna have amenities that some other subdivisions don't have. It's gonna have the pool, it's gonna have the rec center. You know, it's gonna have a lot of those uh, neat items. Uh, the high school uh, in, is right here, pretty much in the community as is a middle school and elementary school. So, uh, you know, you got a lot of that kind of neat thing going for it. Um, these planned communities do tend to be pretty popular. So um, they're gonna come with a bit of a price. Um, so right now we're getting in front of our third location. This home is going to check in at $640,000. So we've been going up in kind of $100,000 increments. We're at 3,150 square feet. So we're checking in right about $202 per square foot. Built in 1999, we've got four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and as you can see, a two-car garage. Um, so again, as is all important when these houses built in the 90s, has it been updated? The answer on this is yes. We've got a new roof, new HVAC, and then we've got things like hardwood floors, granite tops, tile backsplash, stainless steel appliances. So there have been nice updates to this house and some newer systems, which is very important. So uh, again, this is uh, we do have a smaller lot. We are back to that sort of quarter acre lot, but in these big plan developments, quarter acre lot is not atypical, but you have all that you know, community space, parks, and uh, things like that that can kind of, you know, places to, you know, go throw the ball for your dog and things like that if your yard's just not quite big enough. So there are things that can kind of mitigate uh, maybe a little bit smaller lot in these larger communities, you know, that have some of these amenities. Well, that's it for our last home in Glen Allen. Uh, we're gonna, as always, take a tour around the neighborhood and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Well, that's it for your vlog of Glen Allen, Virginia. Hope you liked it. Uh, Glen Allen originally was called Mountain Road Crossing when the rail service came to Glen Allen in 1836. Eventually that name changed um, to Glen Allen and that was based on the name of the homestead of a local landowner named Benjamin Allen. So that's where Glen Allen came from. Uh, one of Glen Allen's uh, most prominent residents was a gentleman named John Cussins. He was a soldier, a Confederate soldier in the Civil War. And after the war, he settled in uh, Glen Allen and he was a noted author, uh, entrepreneur, and uh, he started a very success, su successful printing company. And then uh, later on, he went to build uh, the Forest Lodge, which I'm standing in front of, or what's left of the Forest Lodge, which was um, a luxury resort hotel. It was uh, again, built in around 1880. 
So um, that's it for your history lesson of Glen Allen. Um, it used to be mostly farmland, but now it's a growing suburb of Richmond, Virginia. And again, um, if whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All of that information is below. And until next time, hope to show you around town.